Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Kirill Shubin and Gatokamsky. This is a game from the Russian team Championships 2019. Kirill Shubin had white pieces and he started with d4. Gatokamsky played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6, the king's Indian defense, knight to f3, Kamsky castled king's side, h3 controlling g4 square, e5, d5 closing the center, a5 intending knight to a6 and knight to c5, the standard maneuver, white to move, g4 was played, bishop to g5 and bishop to e3 are the two most played moves, g4 was played, Knight to a6, bishop to e3, bishop to d7, knight to d2, knight to c5, queen to c2, black to move. How would you continue? Well, black is ready for the fight. And why not start with chipping away the white center, c6. White to move. White has a chance to castle coincide, but it may be risky, what do you think? After castling, c takes on d5 and so on. Kirill Shubin played rook to c1, but that means there will be no castling queenside. Black to move. Perhaps c takes on d5 was expected. Gatakamsky played this move, h5, knight to b3. If g takes on h5, knight takes on h5 and the knight is on the way to f4. Back to our game, knight to b3 challenging the knight on c5. Knight takes on b3, queen takes on b3, attacking the pawn on b7. How would you defend the pawn if you had black pieces? What would you do? Gatrakamsky played h takes on g4. Queen takes on b7. If h takes on g4, knight takes on g4. Queen takes on b7. Rook to b8, queen to a6, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, bishop to c8, attacking the queen, queen to c6, rook takes on b2, knight to b5, attacking the pawn on d6. It is becoming very interesting now. Perhaps knight to e8 was expected, defending the pawn that way, because if the knight goes to e4, then bishop to g2. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? Gatakamsky played knight to e4, not afraid of bishop to g2. This is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? I guess bishop to d7 comes to mind, but Gatakamsky played this amazing move. Are you ready to see the move? The knight takes on f2. What a move! What a move! What is this doing? Let's see. Bishop takes on f2. What is the follow up? Believe it or not, black played the move and white resigned. And the move is queen to g5. Kirill Shubin, player with the white pieces, resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. I guess rook to d1 would make sense. Saving the rook and preventing queen to d2 check. Then queen to f4, threatening to take the bishop. Queen to b6, defending. G takes on h3. Rook takes on h3, this is better than bishop takes on h3 for white. Bishop takes on h3. Bishop takes on h3. Queen takes on c4, threatening checkmate on e2. And after queen to e3, Queen takes knight on b5. Black is better material and in a better position. Next move could be f5 and also the pawn 
on a2 is hanging. If a3, then rook to b3, and so on. I guess we can stop here. So what did we learn from this game? Should you neglect your king's safety and just go for the attack? The answer is yes. If your name is Mikal Tal. But if you are not Tal, don't do that. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.